Hi, welcome to Heart Resident Info Channel Dear viewers in front of me Huawei Mate 50 Pro and now I'm gonna show you how to speed up this device. First let's start with the question of why your phone is slow. Basically it's because your phone can't handle the load you have put on it. This is either because the phone is not powerful enough to do what you want it to do or because you are not taking good care of it. You should always understand that every device is designed to perform a certain amount of takes with a certain dyna dynamic. And not every phone can give you uh, the opportunity to work on it smoothly at high dynamic of use and even with heavy tasks. But despite the above, uh, if you follow the instruction I am about to give you, you will be able to keep your device always in good condition so that it works it as best. Okay, the first aspect is a memory. The onboard memory of a device is a limited resource. Often the winners is the one who invests in a device with more built-in memory. And the whole point uh, is the device with full built-in memory begins to slow down. It's always a good idea not to fill the built-in storage more than 70% full. So the first step to speed up your device is to free up memory. So firstly, to free up memory, open settings, then uh, find your apps and services click apps here you will see all your applications and how much size uh, is it for example my asphalt 9 uh, contains two uh, gigabytes of my memory so if you want to delete it just click uninstall and click uninstall if you want to free up memory without deleting the app for example, if you want to free up memory, uh, for example, I don't know, for example, PUBG Mobile. If you want to free up memory, but you don't want to uninstall the application, just uh, click data usage. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry, not data usage, but uh, storage usage. Here you can clear data. Uh, it will clear uh, one gigabyte of your memory, uh, but it will delete files of these uh, applications uh, and you will need to install all cache files again. Um, you can, you can uh, clean up cache, but I have no cache on this application where I have cache. So let's check where I have cache, zero kilobytes. For example, I have cache in my files, I know it. No, I have no cache here. So find the app with the cache AI search. Try it. Oh, I have cache here. Uh, 180 kilobytes, but you can clear it if you have Facebook. Facebook consumes a lot of cache memory, so you can clear the cache. And that's it. Cache, is, this is uh, temporary files, you can clear it uh, without, uh, without deleting f uh, files of applications. Okay, of course you can, um, you can upload all your photos and videos to the cloud storage. <coughs> If you have uh, Google services on your Huawei device, you can upload your uh, your photos and videos to Google Photos. But I have no Google service on my Huawei device, so I can upload these on Huawei storage. For example, for example, as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, uh, I have cloud here. You can click get started network settings connect to the internet and after connecting the internet you can upload a, a hard reset uh, you can upload your files your videos to your Huawei cloud storage wait a while you can enable it I, I will show you how to do it 
uh, okay okay and as you can see Huawei storage gives you five five gigabytes of the cloud storage for free uh, then you will need to buy the storage on this device for example click manage storage uh, click upgrade and here you will see pricing you can buy uh, 50 gigabytes of memory for four uh, three and 99 uh, zloty uh, it's one dollar for months per month you can uh, buy oh mine you can buy 200 gigabytes for 12 gigabytes for uh, per month and uh, first month is for free and you can uh, buy two terabytes of the memory for 40 uh, 40 what it's uh, 10 dollars per month uh, of course you can buy it year yearly it's it's cheaper but it's but it's uh, but it's it's cheaper but you know okay so uh, you can buy it and all your data uh, all your photos images and data from your finder will be uploaded to your memory uh, cloud cloud memory and it will free up your uh, internal storage cool um, of course you can install mega drive mega drive uh, gives you 50 gigabytes for free and it's really good okay the second aspect that can negatively affect the speed of your device is the lack of ram all the processes the processor is running at the moment are running in RAM. All the applications that are running at the moment are also running in RAM. So here again, the winners is the one who bought the device with more temporary storage. The RAM can be freed by unloading the running application or by disabling the background work of the application. In order to unload the memory of running application, just swipe your finger up and then with this gesture unloaded all the recently launched applications from the RAM. For example, if you want to unload cloud, just unload it. Just unload by swiping up. Cool. The third aspect that slows down your device is the files that are left over from running apps. Applications in the Android operation system literally leaving behind a lot of junk unnecessary files that are not noticeable to the average user of the device. In order to clean these files you will need uh, a special program which, which will detect these files. Um, I advise you a deep cleaner application but you have Huawei device so <coughs> you have cleaner in the system. Uh, just find the application uh, optimizer. This is a built-in uh, application on your system. Here you will see clean up button. Click on it and it's really great application. As you can see it detected, this application detected uh, 54 gigabytes or megabytes uh, of junk files. Just cl uh, click clean up and Great, as you can see, here we have residual files, it's junk files too, just cl clean up. And here we have Call of Duty. Of course, if you will delete uh, game data, and you will need to install this data again, because it's game data. But you can clear cache files. Uh, I have no uh, many applications on my device, so I have no um, many residual files. So uh, if you have the applications, you know you you can uh, you, you can clear it. Just clear it, and that's it. And it, it will <coughs> free up memory on your device. Uh, you can delete duplicate du du duplicate files just cl clean up uh, this app um, detected uh, all my duplicated files and as you can see I can delete duplicates 
click delete, delete, and cool, I have no duplicates now. Um, great. Now uh, you can uh, optimize your RAM using this built-in application, just click optimize, and it will optimize performance, security, and uh, performance. Okay, as you can see, close the apps because we have closed the, uh, all these apps using our uh, interface and it's clean up uh, 582 kilobytes of trash and great, that's it. And of course, faster, yeah. So open settings if you want to enable performance mode. I have already enabled, as you can see. So if you want to uh, make your phone faster, just open settings, find here battery, and here you will see performance mode. Uh, performance mode, as you can see, optimize settings to deliver maximum performance, uh, power consumption, and device temperature will, incre will increase. Uh, it's true. So this uh, mode consumes a lot of battery power. So you can enable it if you need a really nice, really powerful performance in this moment, but you need to disable it. Well, you don't need it, okay? So it's a really good future to improve your, uh, your phone speed. And that's it. I hope I was able to help you with this video. If you did then, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you. Bye.